So I wanted to talk to you guys a little bit today about just protein in general. Um, pro protein obviously is one of our macronutrients. Um, it is made up of carbon, hydrogen, oxygen, and nitrogen, and these are arranged to make different types of amino acids, AA for amino acids, and we know that's our building block to proteins and muscle. Um, so these amino acids are going to help us synthesize protein. We probably know that. Um, there are three that you need to know that do have sulfur as well um, in their compound, and that's going to be our cysteine, cysteine with an E in there, and methionine. Um, so those are some amino acids that are a little bit special if they have that sulfur group in there. Um, so what is the amino acids? So we talked about the compounds, but it's going to be an amine group, which is going to be our base. And then it's going to be a carboxyl group, which is going to be our acid. Um, that's going to be important to know when we start looking at how we're going to use protein for energy. So you see here it's for growth regulation and can be used for energy. Now there is something um, protein sparing, which our body um, will do a lot of different things to try and spare using protein for energy. Um, some, you know, our muscles, even our heart, um, some of our organs and all of that are made out of proteins, as is a lot of different things in our body. So um, we don't want to get to a point where we are running out of food or starving or all of our fat stores are gone and now our body is going to start breaking down protein for energy. That's not ideal. Um, but it can be a source of energy, um, in certain situations as well, even from our food as well. So if we want to break down protein for energy, we are going to start by splitting off a nitrogen group. So we did talk about our amino acids have nitrogen in them. So when we do that, that's going to be deamination, which you should know that term, deamination and transamination. We have amine groups, amino acids, amination. So it should be pretty easy to remember if you can kind of remember that amine um, word that's part of all of that. So our amino acid, um, our deamination, so it splits off the amine group. So our NH2, so we have some hydrogens and our nitrogen. Um, that gets converted into ammonia, which then in the liver becomes urea and then is excreted as urine. So that's what happens to that part of the amine group. But how do we get energy from it? So that's not the energy process. The energy process is going to be what's left over, which is going to be a keto acid. Um, and depending on what amino acid you're deaminating, um, you're going to have different keto acids that will then be able to enter into the Krebs cycle. And as we know, Krebs is how we are going to be getting energy. Um, transamination. So that's going to be whenever um, we're making a new amino acid, we're transferring that amino group. Um, and that's just the very basics of transamination is transferring that amine group. So um, something else to kind of note, there are nine essential amino acids. That means we have to get them from the diet. Our body cannot make those on their own. Um, if a food is a complete protein, um, typically we're going to see this with um, our animal products. It's going to have all nine essential amino acids versus incomplete. It might be lacking one or more um, amino acids. Uh, of those nine essential amino acids. So that's where you have like vegetarian diets and maybe you're pairing rice with beans to help um, complete that amino acid profile or get a complete protein, if you will. So that's kind of where it comes in to play when we're talking about vegetarian diets or vegans or something like that, where we need to um, pair our different types of proteins. Why? So we can get all nine of those essential amino acids in our diet. So, um, my next video, I'm going to go through with you guys nitrogen balance. Um, we're going to talk a little bit about net protein utilization, protein digestibility, biological value. What does all of that mean um, as it relates to our different types of protein and how our body um, metabolizes it?